Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. In this sketch, we're gonna cover the anatomy of the breast and axilla. And since one of the main functions of breast tissue is to make milk, what better place to set this sketch than a dairy farm? Breasts are accessory organs of the female reproductive system and lie over the pectoralis muscles in the anterior thoracic wall. The boundaries of the breast include the second rib superiorly, the sternum medially, the sixth rib inferiorly, and the mid-axillary line laterally. Externally, each breast is composed of a nipple as well as an areola, the circular pigmented area that surrounds the nipple. Histologically, the breast contains both glandular and connective tissues. The glandular tissue, aka mammary glands, are responsible for lactation. The mammary glands consist of 15 to 20 lobes in each breast, which are further divided into lobules. The lobules contain milk-producing cells called alveoli. The milk moves from the lobules within the lobes to the lactiferous ducts, then the lactiferous sinus before exiting via the nipple. Imagine this cow carousel as the breast. Think of these milking stations where the cows sit as the lobules. If the stations are the lobules, then the cows are the alveoli, since the alveoli and the cows produce the milk. The milk moves from the cows to these tubes, representing the lactiferous ducts. These tubes then converge, collecting milk in a reservoir, similar to a lactiferous sinus. And finally, the milk passes through that nipple-shaped tower, which is... Self-explanatory. <laughs>